<laughs> David Singer and I'm here with the guys from DZ Death Race. How's it going today, guys? Good, thank you. Yeah, pretty good, thanks. Good, yeah. Have you guys hung out in Vancouver for like a while or because you just kind of got here? Uh, kind of just, we had, we had last night last here. Night, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you have like a Vancouver spot you always go to, or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 you would play to the always seen to just play here. I've seen you guys last time too. Yeah. It was here, yeah. Um, but we were, where were we last time? Like sort of, the outer east, sort of. In Hastings Street? Near Hastings Park. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it was kind of cool. We went to some like dive bars. It's good. Cool, yeah. Um, let's start with your guys' name, because I know you guys used to be called just DZ. Like, does that stand for anything? Or? Um, Simon and I had a band before that's called Denzel. And that's how it, it morphed into this. Mm. We sort of took the two letters because it was just the two of us at the time. We used to call that band like the DZ. On the, just the DZ. It was like an inside yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's really it. It's, yeah. And then, you know, we added the death rays once. There was a, some other guy with the same name. And was, he, he was, was he Canadian? I'm not sure. You know, he was like a dubstep DJ. Oh, okay. um, and yeah, just, we were getting mixed ups online, so like, let's just have a name that is just ours. So, yeah. Now you quit again. <laughs> I kind of like the death rays though. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, nice little additions. So speaking of additions, we now got Lachlan in the band. What do you think Lachlan brings? Like, is it better with the three uh, pieces? Bring does the it get squished yeah, up, yeah. up there? A lot of sass. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do it. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's been good. We've had Lockie with us for three or four years. Four oh, years. Yeah. Four years. And we've just done, like, this is our first time, like, riding together as well. So, we did Positive Rising Part 1 and 2, which we've recorded now. Um, like, riding and recording with Lockie. So, and it's been really good. Okay. Like, a kind of breath of fresh air for the band. <laughs> you know, after 10 years, you're kind of, like, ready to do some new stuff. And yeah, it was, it's been really good. Cool, yeah. So I heard that you guys, is it you started at a house party or you guys just kind of started playing house parties? Um, well, the first show was a house party. Yeah. So we sort of just say that we sort of started at a house party. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was kind of like the whole idea with this band. We were in bands before, which we tried so hard to get gigs and no one gave us shows. Um, and so we were like totally disheartened. So it's like, ah, oh, fuck this. Let's just make a band that plays at house parties and we won't worry about trying to book shows and clubs and bars and stuff and then yeah we started that a band that did house parties and then all of a sudden the shows just came to us after a while so it was yeah and we just we just ran, got the ball and ran with it a little bit yeah like i guess like shows and house parties are kind of similar vibes right yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> the, the, the drinks are yeah. probably cheaper at a house party oh yeah yeah you can bring your own alcohol yeah that's true <laughs> uh yeah so i heard that you guys recorded to ruin my life EP at a party um, no, it no, was the, yeah, other is that one. a rumor on the internet? Because I thought that would be. It was, cool. it was, uh, brutal tapes. Yeah, that was. Oh, I said the wrong one. Maybe yeah, as okay. so the first one we were, was actually just demos, um, that we put out. That was ruin my life, and then um, the second one we did like two tracks in the studio, and then we recorded a bunch of other tracks just live at a house party. Um, yeah, so I mixed it, and we did like a video there and stuff as well. It was kind of cool. That was kind of when I think Brisbane. Like the house party thing was like really good, and now, I mean, I haven't been to one with a band in so long. I think mm. the police. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah, they like, get shut down? Yeah. 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 Yep. Bummer. <laughs> yeah. Like we grew because we grew up in a smaller town, so house parties was when you're in high school. That's what everyone did. Um, so you know, we, we'd always like go house party over going out. Uh, but yeah, nowadays it's kind of like, you don't see it as much anymore, mostly because of the noise. Baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys partied with Andrew WK yet? No. Have you guys hit him up at all? We did a show together in Austin, but he played way later than us, I think. Yeah. Um, I've talked to him online, actually. Every now and then he comments on something, or we tagged him in something, I think. He knows yeah. you guys exist, at least. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Either that or his social media people do. Yeah. Because <laughs> that guy's on all the time, or he was at least at some point. Mm. But yeah, we're big fans. Cool, uh, yeah, so the new one's called Positive Rising Part 1. Mm. Let's talk a little about the name. What's Positive Rising mean to you guys? Uh, it's actually, there's a track on Part 2 with that name. Oh, okay. And we just thought, it, yeah, so it's like all the songs lead up to this last song. Um, so yeah, so we just took that name and it sounded right. Okay. Do you guys feel more positive or like? It's nice putting something positive out. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Yeah, I got to interview Dune Rats recently and I asked them a bunch of Australian questions. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you guys some of the same ones. Tell me about Vegemite, because I've heard it's really gross, but they were really into it. No, it's, no, it's good. Fine. I think the mistake people make is that they put too much on for the first time. Mm. Okay. Like, they'll go, oh, oh Vegemite. And it's like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, you I'm can't, you can't, can't treat it like peanut butter. Okay. No. It's like the butter to Vegemite yeah. ratio has to be right. And, it's and like also, more I reckon, yeah, like, butter, yeah. okay. Melt some cheese on it if, it if you want to try it out first time because that, that makes it way better. Okay. Or you can eat it with avocado. Yeah, avocado. Oh, you can have good. it with eggs. It's like such, such a good because it, essentially it's just like a really salty yeast extract. So, but yeah, it's, it's almost awesome. like closer to like horseradish or something like that <laughs> than it is like, you know, a jam or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like I've never tried it, I just hear it, so that's why mm. I would ask. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's in every, every kitchen in Australia for sure. It's such a staple. <laughs> Okay, so um, I always heard the animals in Australia are like super scary. Like, what's the scariest thing you've uh, Not as scary as bears. Yeah, bears, bears are pretty scary. Are scary. <laughs> bears? Well, oh, I mean, our it. bears just get high on like eucalyptus and shit in trees. <laughs> and wow. like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's, I guess there are a fair few snakes and spiders and I've heard, stuff like that. There's like magpies. Like uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just jerks. No? <laughs> but only for one period of the year. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is why I asked. I want to know like if what's true and what's not. Like do you guys push What did Jenny say was true yeah. or not? <laughs> Don't listen to that. wear helmets with holes in it when you were a kid. Uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. People wear like, 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 like eyes zip, off. Like zip ties on yeah, top. Yeah, zip ties yeah. So on top. spiky so they can't whack you. Oh jeez. Okay. But like my mum has a bunch that will go to her house and she just feeds them like and they just they love it. Like yeah. they try and come into her house and hang they, out. They only oh. attack yeah. you when they're protecting their like babies. So it's like every year when the babies are born to like or hatch or whatever, so they just come at you and then mm. and it's usually if you're like on a push bike. Mm. Um, not too but if you're walking maybe as well. But swoopy boys, yeah. yeah. We call them swoopy boys. <laughs> Swoopy spring boys. <laughs> Another one. Do you guys barbecue shrimp? Is that a real thing? Prawns. Prawns. Okay. Yeah. So prawns on the barbie. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Right. acceptable. That's the correct. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Christmas is coming up. What's on your guys' list? Like to do? Like your wish list. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, uh, whiskey. I just want some Christmas ham. <laughs> nice. Take some whiskey, yeah. It's <laughs> a good meal, yes. Oh. <laughs> and my last question is, what's next for you guys? Well, we yeah, wrap up. Well, this, uh, this Canadian tour's only just started, but once that finishes, we go home, and then we go back to Europe for a tour with the Darkers. Nice. Doing like 23 shows with them. Um, yeah. We're just touring. We're just touring. We just tour it, and we got yeah. to obviously another record oh. that's ready to come almost out at some point. finished mix. Yeah. And That'll come out sometime next year, and yeah, more touring and more writing another record, I guess. See what happens. Cool. Not too sure. That's all I got. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Cool. Thanks for having me. Nice and easy, right? <laughs> yeah, heaps easy. Yeah.